Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a minute and I'm so sorry, but now that autumn and Halloween are kind of getting in full swing, I have a bunch of stuff I want to share with you. And yesterday, I went to Marshall's with my girl Abby and got a ton of Halloween stuff. And I really enjoy videos like that, so I thought I would create one. Duke really wants some of the stuff because it looks like it will be a toy for him even though it's not. And I might make a follow-up video that's kind of sharing how I decorated the apartment for fall. Let me know if you would want to see that. It would kind of show, because a lot of the stuff I got is Halloween or fall decorations. Let me know if you would want to see that and like kind of how I set it up in the apartment. But here we go. I mean, so there's like this bag and there's a really huge basket full. And then I guess I'll kick it off with this random thing that I got, which, so just to tell you guys, I basically spent like $300, a little bit less, because technically I got like socks for Danny, and things like that that I won't really share because it's not that exciting. But I got this for like $50 and it's really just for the guest room or the guest bathroom upstairs. It, I needed something to kind of put a bunch of my hair tools in and like, I'm like forever in need of storage because I am a hoarder and I have way too much stuff. So that's why I needed that. And then I guess I'll start with this while Duke is being. I had to get this creepy pumpkin guy. <laughs> I think he was only like $12 and he's just so cute. I tend to be, as much as I love Halloween, I feel like I have really specific taste. Duke definitely thinks it's for him. It's not for you. It's not for you. I'm sorry. And I don't know. I just feel like when I saw this, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. He has like beans in him. It's almost like maybe he's a doorstop. I don't know. I can't tell, but he's really cute. And then I got these like dish towels that are really cute for fall and I got some sprinkles they have like bats and pumpkins and I mean there's just a ton of different stuff I really love the ghost ones but just super cute for when you make Halloween cupcakes and treats and the thing that Duke's really trying to attack is this really cute like autumn fox it was $12.99 it's not for you either I'm sorry but <laughs> He's just staring at me, but uh, the fox is just so cute and I don't know I just loved that he was or she was orange and has on this like really cute leaf necklace with, like a pine cone Just so cute. I can't I can't deal with it Duke. I'm gonna leave it right there If anybody has any good tips on how to train your dog to not think that any cute thing is a toy for them Let me know so I want to have a Halloween party so of course I had to get they had a few things by this brand Molly and Rex I think that were really cute and I just thought that these were like so adorable there is this one that says happy Halloween with a cute little witch hat and this one has the pumpkin and they were too cute to pass out I also got these uh, they have always at Marshall's which by the way this is not sponsored by Marshall's or anything like that I did however do a sponsorship with them last year and it kind of made me super fall in love. So this year I had to go back and get more Halloween stuff. Cause honestly a lot of the stuff I got last year was also from Marshalls. So I, I don't know, I'm just obsessed now. But I also got these ginger snap cookies that they have there a lot. And they're so, they're like so good. And I don't know, I sometimes have really like bad taste when it comes to things like that. So not everyone might like them, but I love them. And then the last things in this bag are also something I got last year. Um, they're only $3.99 per thing. And they're super, super easy. You just add water and bake them. And they are pumpkin spice scones. They're super good. And I don't know, it was like fun making them and really easy. So I wanted to bake something but didn't have the time to commit to doing a bunch of stuff. We have this really big tin, but I'll first start off with probably one of my favorite things that I got in this stuff, and it is this freaking candy corn garland. Abby got one too, because they're so cute, and I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this. This is, a, this is probably my fave thing. Duke, don't you dare start attacking that. I'm watching you. And then, 
continuing the baking theme. This was another brand that was there. Nope, Duke. <laughs> no. And it was, I think it's Marie Marie. And they had really cute stuff by this company there. And just these really cute cookie cutters. You can hear Duke in the background. <laughs> he, anytime I swear I make a video, he wants to like play or distract me or he's really interested in whatever I have in my hand. But I just thought that especially like the ghost and the pumpkin were so cute. So I had to get these. I want to make some, some Halloween treats. And then I actually got these last year and I, I love that they're like wrapped in a bouquet, but it's like these little straw pumpkin things. I got these last year and I really poorly packaged them up for like the next season. Duke also thinks they're for him. And I, when I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get them just because last year I like ruined half of them. So, and then the next thing is also by that company, uh, Marie Marie. And it's the freaking cutest Halloween sign I've ever seen. It literally has like the bat and the orange string and it's gold glitter and it was just so 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 cute yeah the marie marie is a is a british brand and this was only five dollars and it is just so cute like i can't i just love halloween stuff you guys the next thing is really when i have to put away the halloween decorations and i wanted something that was still festive for the month of november it's these really cute little pumpkins that say thankful and I just thought they'd be really cute on the media stand or hi, hi baby, or somewhere that, I don't know. I just thought they were a cute little thing. I definitely don't need any of this Halloween stuff, but my favorite thing to indulge in. And then, let's see, a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of candles, which that might be what these are. I got this candle. Oh, it smells so good. It's apple cider and it has like the wick that is I think it's wood and it, so it makes like a crackling noise which Danny doesn't really like but I love it makes me feel like I have a fireplace going that's the size of a candle but it just makes this crackling noise it's really nice and then I basically got a bunch of candles that pretty much smell exactly the same but this one is a Yankee candle which I just like them because they last a really long time and it's autumn spice it smells amazing okay we're back to the pumpkin obsession i'm gonna have to put that guy up somewhere high and then oh my gosh i forgot about this one it's just i thought this container was so cute it says hey hey pumpkin it smells phenomenal and it was only five dollars but i won't burn it until like the end of the season because it, i just love the container that it's in and then up next i did get duke a <laughs> abby's like slowly moving the sewing out of the way so that duke will like be distracted <laughs> um i also got this um toy for duke that apparently didn't satisfy him enough because he's still smelling everywhere for another one but i don't even know where it is but it was like a really cute little pumpkin ball so this was the toy that was Duke's and he demolished toys pretty fast. We always see like, he basically kills the squeak, but this was what it was. I was actually a little bit bummed because they didn't have, last year they had a bunch of dog sweaters. They were really cute and they didn't have them this year. So I'll probably go back to see if they have more. And then we have another bag that is, oh yeah, I got this snow globe. Because who doesn't need a Halloween snow globe? No one. That's the answer. <laughs> so, like, I actually didn't even know if it played a song. Oh, it's the Wicked Witch is Dead. Okay, I was like, I was like, what song is this? Just said, uh, uh, the witch is dead. Ring, ring. I'm butchering this song, I'm sorry. But it's so cute. The song's actually kind of sad, but the Duke is like truly mesmerized. Hi. Oh my 
much. I also just love the brands that they carry in March. Like, this one's by, like, Goblin and Ghoul. Like, so cute. Kind of all. It's a snow globe. Okay. Next is another candle. It says, let our hearts be full of thanks and giving. It has a freaking owl on top, and it's so cute. Here's Duke's butt, in case you wondered what it looks like. This was just so cute, and it's like orange in the inside. It was $8, too good to pass up. And then, I think the next thing might just be, Duke like, really wants to show himself to you guys. I don't know what the deal is. He's just sitting here staring at me. He also thinks every single package is for him. Um, this was a pumpkin spice. I remember this was like, yeah, it was $8 for a lot of candles, so I was into it. Also got these dish towels that we like saw in the checkout line, and they were just so cute. I like love them so much. I think the next, oh yeah, the next thing is my girl Steffi has a bunch of, no, 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 no scratching. Um, <laughs> she has a bunch of fox mugs and they're so cute and when I saw this one at Marshalls for four dollars I was like oh my god I have to get it I definitely don't need any mugs at all and anyone in my life would tell you that but it was too cute to pass up and I had to get it plus it's orange it's like kind of fall themed and then the other things were I just had some Polaroids that I really wanted frames for so I just got a cute little wire picture frame and then Oh, there's one more. The other one is just like almost exactly a Polaroid size. It's super cute. Super, super cute. And then we obviously could not not get the pumpkin pie um, little whatever. These are also the recyclable ones, which I was very happy about. Um, they're not the recyclable ones. They're like made of like... I think already recycled material that can also be recycled. I don't know. It's more eco-friendly than some of the other ones, but I can't wait to try these. And I like, I love this color palette that's happening. He still thinks that there might be something in here for him. I also got these pretzels that I started eating and they had really cute Halloween sprinkles on them. They're very good. And here's actually a pair of the socks that I got for Danny. And then this was really something I did not need, but I don't know. It's just like pumpkin latte soap. I hope it really smells like pumpkin latte. I'll be very sad if it doesn't, but I can't tell if it does. I just thought the packaging was really cute too, so I had to get it because the packaging really sucks me in. And then I also, I think last, but well, I have one other thing, but I also got... This candle, it's a little bit more wintry, and I don't know, I just love If any of you out there have a wire fox terrier and understand the curiosity and annoyance that they can be, or terriers in general, then you understand the Duke's like entire being in this whole video. But this, I just thought was a really cute candle. And then the thing that Duke just knocked over is... <laughs> I really needed a basket for the like bathroom downstairs to put some stuff in and I saw this really huge basket that I actually think after looking at it is made to like plant flowers in outside but it works perfectly for what I wanted it for and I'm very happy about it and I think that is all for my Marshall's Halloween like kind of home decor haul. Duke is still smelling everything just an update on that but let me know below if you would like to see how i kind of decorated the space with these things and if you want to know where i put them and that sort of thing let me know and i will do a halloween apartment tour for you thank you so much for watching bye